Shakira for you. Thanks for everyone who is watching this channel. Thanks for all those people that are subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, you are doing a really great job for me. You're helping this channel grow. And whenever it grows, it makes me able and stable to bring for you more and more of... Yeah, this channel is all about self-love. We talk of depression. We talk of divorce. We talk of single motherhood. We discuss all those issues that do affect women and men at large. Now today, our topic of discussion is about forgiveness. Yes, forgiveness. Yes guys, welcome. Uh, today's topic of discussion is about forgiveness forgiveness i know each and every one of us has had that one point or that one person that has hurt you to the extreme it could be your husband it could be your mother your father your friend your sister it could be anyone that has hurt you but how are you going to be able to forgive you need to forgive you don't need to keep those grudges in you those grudges do not help you devolve grudges just put you in a self-imprisonment you're hungry about someone, but you cannot even talk about it. You don't want to look at that person. You're only punishing yourself. You're not punishing that, self, that person. You're imprisoning yourself. You're stressing yourself. You're too depression because simply, simply because you cannot forgive someone. Okay, we need to learn how to forgive. Because if God forgave us, then who are we not to forgive these people? You know? It's really, really bad not to forgive. You know, if you can't forgive, that means you can even kill. Because you're not ready to let go. You're not ready to let your your heart, your body, and your soul to, to go off that thing that has really hurt you so much. You know, may I have a story about myself. You all know that I'm a single mother and I had my child when I was at school. You know, I met this guy nice looking and all that and a couple of months i was pregnant for him and you know what he told me when i got pregnant he was like you know i don't need that child you should get an abortion and i was so straight to say that no i'm not getting the abortion do you know what happened he told me to choose between two things if i do abort i'm going to continue with him you know and if i don't i don't do abort i i should forget all about him I should forget that he does exist you know this person was playing on my brain you know was just touching me psychologically to see what i'm, I'm, I'm to do because he knew that i loved him by the time and i was really too abort and my decision was i'm not aborting i'm having my daughter you know guys i'm having my daughter so it was a decision he walked away as he had promised me he walked away he just walked on me just like that being in school raising your daughter raising the pregnancy alone even your parents don't know that you're pregnant you know i cried each and every day i tried calling his phone he had blacklisted me everywhere i couldn't reach this guy anymore you know i gave birth to my daughter i called him and told him that i had given birth he was so surprised that had given back. He promised to come to the hospital. He didn't come to the hospital. You know, I even evoked hatred for my daughter. The more I went into labor pains, the more I hated this guy. The more. All women, you know what you go through in the labor ward. You know what happens. I even used to ask the nurses and the midwives that why am I dying? Who am I dying for? I'm just dying alone. No one is there for me. This man is not there for me. I'm giving him a child. His child is going to carry his name. But he's not here with me. I don't even want this child, you know. I was so depressed. I was so emotional and all that. But my mom sat me down. Like the day after giving birth. She told me, you know, I I know. This man has not been there for you, but he has given you such a beautiful daughter. Just let go of that man, just forgive him, you know, just like that. 
I have raised my daughter single-handedly ever since I gave birth. Single-handedly raising my daughter. So people, who are you not to forgive? You know, I give, I forgive this person. I forgive him. I forgive him. You know, and it really let me free. By the time my daughter started to grow, the more she smiled. You know. Those first footsteps growing just made me fall in love with my daughter. And this, you know, all these things that my daughter were doing were showing something. It's like the other person just let you down. But you have something beautiful inside, like in front of you. You have a reflection of that person in this baby that you have. Because you guys, when I show you my daughter, just does it. You can't even remember. You can't even say that she's my daughter. Many people, you know. So actually, you can't have that girl. She's not your child. But what? Yeah, we don't resemble. My daughter resembles her dad to the extreme. You know, but I kept away all the grudge, all the hatred that I had for that man because he gave me something beautiful, and that is my daughter. I pay school fees. I do each and everything for my child. I think I forget that man. You know. And we now talk. It has been seven years now. My daughter is making seven in October. And you know, but we now talk. But still, he doesn't support me financially at any point. But I still ask him, How are you doing? How, you know, I forgive him. Then who are you not to forgive? Who are you not to forgive? When we forgive, we just let go of those stresses that we go through all those things you know you understand and now today i want us to discuss so guys let us discuss on how we can forgive how can we be able to forgive you know because i know that hatred keeps you like you know what whenever you think about it you feel like you cannot forgive this person you know whenever it comes to your mind you feel the hatred within you you know so but how are we going to be able to forgive with all the hunger with all everything that is going that is going on how are we going to be able to forgive now the first thing the willingness to forgive you know you've sat yourself down now you you've thought about it and you're willing to forgive you know that willingness of saying now you know what let me just turn go to that person and say you know what i forgive you for doing this, this and this to me i forgive you for all that you've done for me okay take this scenario if someone's if someone does something wrong to you this person comes to you and says you know what Shaki? i know i did this but i'm very sorry please forgive me it wasn't my own understanding and that person gives you that explanation of why he had to do, to do something like that tell me guys how do you feel how does it feel how does it feel when someone tells you they are sorry about something they have done and they are genuinely sorry? You just feel good. And that's what I want you to also go and do. If someone has ever done something wrong to you, you go and tell them that you forgive them. Don't mind about their reaction because some people it's very hard for them to understand. Someone might be in wrong but they will never, they will never realize that they are in wrong. And you know, so today, I want you to go and practice that for me. The other thing is, I always encourage this. Pray to God. Always to pray. For, always pray to God. Always seek God's, you know, guidance in something that you're going to do. Always ask God to give you that willingness to forgive. You know, ask God. That you tell God that God, you know what? This person did something, this and this to me. But I really want to forgive my, this person and I can't find ways of forgiving. God will show you the way to forgive that person. Always seek God's attention. Because through God, we are able to understand, we are able to, you know, realize things that we never knew. That's what, that, has been, that has been it for today's video. Make sure you like, you comment and subscribe. It's Shakira. See you in my next video. Bye.